Accountants both in public practice and in industry increasingly are expressing concern about turning over complete QuickBooks data files to third parties, including tax auditors, because there has been no capability to block access to transactions outside the period of interest or under audit. However, beginning with the 2012 release of QuickBooks Accountant, a new feature known as Period Copy allows users to make a copy of the data file that contains only transactions for a specific date range. To use the Period Copy feature, from within QuickBooks Accountant 2012, select File, Utilities, Condensed Data, to open the Condensed Data dialog box currently shown on the screen. In the Condensed Data dialog box, click the radio button entitled Transactions Outside of a Date Range and specify a before and an after date. Notice that the before and after dates are used to control which transactions will remain in the resulting data file. Upon clicking Next, we're presented with a screen allowing us to choose how previous transactions will be summarized. The recommended approach is to create a singular journal entry for all previous transactions. Note that if you choose not to create a summary journal entry for previous transactions, there will be no beginning balances in the QuickBooks data file. Clicking Next takes us to another dialog box allowing us to choose how inventory will be condensed. Once we make our selection on this screen, clicking Next again allows us to control how specific types of transactions will be handled in this process, including transactions to be printed, transactions to be sent, estimates, sales orders, pending invoices, and the like. Upon clicking Next on this screen, we are presented with the option of removing unused list entries. If there are general ledger accounts, customers, vendors, etc. that are not used, you can choose to remove those by checking the appropriate boxes. Finally, we are presented with the Begin Condense dialog box. When we click on Begin Condense, several things will happen. One, QuickBooks will make a copy of our data file. Two, QuickBooks will then delete all transactions prior to the before date and also delete all transactions after the after date that we previously specified. Now as far as the transactions prior to the before date, assuming we instructed QuickBooks to summarize those with a journal entry, it will create a journal entry that summarizes the net impact of all of those prior transactions, thus maintaining beginning account balances. However, the resulting data file will only contain detailed transactions for the period between the before and the after date. Understand one other very important consideration. Because we're deleting transactions from the data file using this process, we should likely run this process against a copy of our live data. Certainly we understand the implications if we were to delete transactions from our live data file. So make a copy of your data file before you begin and then run this process against that copy of the data. To ensure that auditors and other third parties do not have access to data to which they are not authorized, consider using the period copy function available beginning with QuickBooks Accountant 2012. This feature allows you to create a data file that contains transactions only for a specified range of dates. However, Keep in mind that this is a destructive process, therefore you should not run it on the live copy of your QuickBooks data file, but rather run it against a copy of the data file to ensure that you do not accidentally delete necessary data from your data file. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.